Okay, so we have our drawing completed on our grid, and now we're going to transfer it, transfer it onto our piece of pottery. So I'm going to cut it out a little bit bigger than I need it, and you want to be really gentle with your piece of pottery, so you want to be really careful. Keep it laying on the table here. You don't ever want to smush it. If you smush it, it's, it's, it's done. Okay, I'm going to tack them on, and then I'm going to take this tool, and I'm going to poke it with this. So you can press and poke a little bit. You're going to destroy your original drawing here, so make sure that you get it on there correctly. I'm going to peek every once in a while and make sure that I have it. So you could either poke it with this, or if you can just press it. You could also try your pencil or a pen. And the nice thing about using a colored pencil is that you can see where you've been. So let me just check and make sure that we're good. And you're going to leave little holes with your tacks, but we can just cover those over later. No biggie. All right, see so us leaving a little flat edge there. We're gonna put that on my lap. You can get a paint shirt to lay on your lap if you don't want to get dirty. You want to press it hard enough that the image transfers, but you don't want to press it so hard that it goes all the way through. So just kind of check after you've started a little bit, make sure that you're transferring your image. And go over all of your lines. Be really gentle with your piece of pottery. It's pretty fragile. Okay, now before I take it all the way off, I want to make sure that I got it. I think I got it. Okay. All right, then I'm going to take my tool, and you want to use the scoop end of this. So notice how this has a little scoop on it. You want that scoop to be down and you're going to drag it very gently. Don't pull, don't push really hard. You're just going to take out some of that black so you can see the white below. Now if you make a mistake, then we'll have to paint back over it with a little bit more of the black underglaze. It's no problem. It's not a problem. Just take your time and make sure you really take your time to do it slowly. A little bit like with a scratch tool, you want it to. You don't want to try to go sideways because you just it slips out of your your grip. So notice that I keep turning it, so I'm pulling it towards me. His ear it looks just like a curl in his hair. Notice what I'm doing with my finger, like when I get the, the clay in there, I just flick it off. All right, same with the scratch art tool. Curves are a little bit tricky with this, so take your time with that.
Now that's a little tricky for me to see now, so I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to refer back to my drawing. Oh, I see. I see, said the blind woman. His fingers look a little weird. As long as they still look like fingers, I guess I'll be happy with that. Mm, is that right? He's got a thumb in there somewhere. All right, ta-da! Now I'm gonna let that, that dry a little bit. I'll come back tomorrow with a small paintbrush if I need to and fix any places that I made bloopers. So then I'm gonna use the back of my scoop tool and smooth over those holes and I'll cover that up tomorrow too. Ta-da! Make sure your name is on the bottom and the class, the year you graduate, that's your class. <laughs>